Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Recently, some of our users have mentioned that our newly launched V3 monopower amplifier feels a bit warm to the touch during operation, and you're worried about its ability to work stably during extended use. In response to your concerns, today we're going to delve deeper into the innovative cooling design of the V3 Mono. Let's take a closer look. The V3 Mono features the high-end TPA3255 class D amp chip from Texas Instruments. It's this compact chip that delivers exceptional sound quality and robust power output, making it the ideal choice for audiophiles seeking the ultimate audio experience. The TPA3255 chip generates a significant amount of heat during operation, necessitating robust cooling to ensure it can operate safely, stably, and continuously. To achieve this, our design closely fits the chip to the heatsink, which is then firmly attached to the bottom of the chassis, transforming the entire chassis into a large heatsink for comprehensive cooling. This innovative design efficiently transfers heat from the chip to the chassis, where it is then dissipated into the surrounding air. Additionally, we have added side ventilation of the chassis to ensure proper air circulation. Dust covers are also installed at these ventilation points to prevent dust from entering the system. Next, let's utilize an infrared thermal imager to monitor the real-time temperature changes of the V3 Mono during operation. On the left is a unit without the case, relying solely on heat dissipation through the bottom heatsink, while on the right we have a fully enclosed unit. We can visually observe that the temperature of the power amplifier chip location on the left rises very rapidly, and before long it triggers overheating protection ceasing operation. In contrast, the surface temperature of the unit on the right remains around 32 degrees Celsius, indicating normal operation. Here is the V3 Mono after it has been operating for some time. Let's check the temperatures on various surfaces. The bottom temperature is relatively higher compared to other areas, which is due to the reasons we mentioned earlier. The chip is in close contact with the heat sink, and both are tightly attached to the bottom of the chassis. While it's true that the V3 Mono may feel slightly warm to the touch during operation, please rest assured that this temperature remains within a safe range. Our thermal design ensures that even during prolonged high power output, the generated heat does not compromise its performance or longevity. Certainly, to maintain optimal performance of the V3 Mono, we recommend placing it in a well-ventilated environment, avoiding placement in enclosed spaces prone to heat buildup. That concludes our discussion on the thermal design of the V3 Mono. We hope this video has shed light on its innovative features. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Goodbye.